Okay, uh, yesterday we have seen that how we can implement the OR designer, right? Yes. So today you are going to work with that. Okay, uh, I will guide you. And for the code implementation, I will also guide you. You are going to write the, all the codes, okay? Okay. Uh, so share your entire screen and uh, open your MS SQL, also your Visual Studio. And create a new project. After this. Okay, so you can see the form here. Okay, uh, no, uh, right. Okay. Add uh, a link to SQL class. Right click on your link to SQL project and add new item. Link uh, under the data column. Link to SQL class. Uh, I don't see okay. that. Yeah, okay. Uh, open your Visual Studio installer. Yeah. Choose individual components. Uh, uh, above. On the navigation, yes. Uh, right link to SQL. Uh, right to search. It's Q L I N Q. Yeah, this one and modify. So today uh, you are going to create a database and a table structure in your MS SQL. Then we are going to add that reference or that database with our C sharp code okay. and then work on it. Okay, now add that file. Give it a name like student DB uh, in the Pascal case. Okay, open your form. Yes, uh, and open your toolbox.
uh, all windows form yes uh, now first uh, add a label give it a name student detail no uh, just uh, click just click one time and start writing student detail uh, yeah you can see this label one remove this and write student detail increase the size and how do you increase the size yeah in this properties panel you have one size control uh, go down yeah now you can see the size here 85 is the length and 16 is the breadth And changed it. You have to increase the font size. Yeah, okay. it good. Okay. Uh, now add a label name, then gender, then age, and then class. So it's name. Yes, name. Then gender. Age. Class. increase their sizes and align them do it a little fast okay Okay. Add text boxes in front of everyone, name, gender, age, and class.
Okay. Increase the size of a form. Now add a grid view. Grid view? Yeah. Okay, before that, add four but buttons in a straight line. Uh, there are buttons. Yeah. Add four buttons. Now you can add them below your this class yes uh, this one is insert then another button for update another for delete and another for clear okay now search for a grid view you can see data grid view No, below, below, below. Yes, increase its size. Yes. Okay. So this is completed. Uh, go to your MS SQL. New query. Okay, create database student DB. See, S should be capital and DB should be capital. Okay, create the database. Now you can see there is one master return in the left side of execute yeah yeah uh, drop down you can see student db select that so now you don't okay. have to write your use student db okay okay now create a table name student Yeah, a student. Okay, first column will be ID. Open the parenthesis. No, parenthesis, not curly braces. Okay. Yes, the first column will be ID. Int type, not null. Primary key, and identity. I've told you identity is for automated generated ID. Okay. Next one is your name. Back have 50, not null. Next is a gender. Back have 50, not null. Next is age, int, not null. Next is class, or you can say standard, 
int not null uh, close the parenthesis okay uh, the name one uh, you Uh, write a select command here. Select a star from a student. Execute it. So select that and execute it. So your table is completed. Okay. Uh, you can see connect here in your object explorer. Okay, wait. Uh, go back. Go back to your Visual Studio. Yes. Uh, open Server Explorer. Now you have this one desktop. Open it. I'll click on data connection. Yeah, add connection. Yeah, good. So is it the third on SQL server? Uh, yes. Click on drop down menu. I'll go back to your MSS field. This one, desktop, watch, yes, you uh, copy that. I'll go to properties in the last. Here you can see server in the connection. Yeah, also from there, you can just copy that. This one. You have your, uh, you can see, yeah, go at connection, not here, below, below, below. Can't you see connection tab here uh, with server and connection and view connection properties in your left side? Go down here. Connection properties. The username. Copy that. Go back to your Visual Studio. Paste it. Drop down. Okay. Uh, remove Nigun and slash. You can see student DB, right? Uh, okay.
now click on that desktop yeah tables okay wait open your sql link to sql file i mean or designer Uh, on the tab you have student db1 dot dml dbml yes okay. uh, now drop drag and drop this student table here yes okay wait uh, close this server explorer also close this one okay close this references in your solution explorer no 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 yeah close this go to this one student db1 dot designer cs go down now see it has uh, all the definition for your student class here okay if you go a little up okay. no not up up yes here you can see it has system dot data dot link table student and students okay so if you create if you use this students you can get all the value from your table okay <laughs> go up wait okay uh, you can see in line 26 it is written student db1 data context mm -hmm. right yeah yeah uh, copy that because you are going to use this one a lot no only to the data context yeah only this one copy it. okay done yeah okay uh, go to your form yes double click on insert wait 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 let's change their name right now okay uh, in the properties uh okay. go down a little no more no, no don't go down yeah uh, okay wait wait go up now this name okay write it as insert okay similarly do for all these for update for delete for clear also for your name text box gender text box age text box see while uh, writing these names okay uh, to differentiate them you should use a differentiation a convention okay like uh, for example this one uh, wait uh, this one age okay then you can use lbl age so it will be differentiated that uh, it is a label here you can write lbl class instead of class no you don't need for this one see wait 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 you are confused wait go to name 
name text box i am talking about name text box yes right here uh, remove this right here txt name press enter now for gender txt gender similarly for age and class okay go to your okay. insert for the name write btn insert similarly for update now for your grid view give a name according to you okay okay double click on insert okay go up its name is not changed i think it's still button 1 okay wait 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 don't okay before public form 1 okay no uh, okay click on line 14 click enter now uh, you have copied your uh, class i have told you about student db1 data context paste here yeah space db semicolon so now you have created a let's say an object or an alias type for this class okay so now you can use this one in your whole program go for your insert okay. button Actually, yeah, double click. Okay, right in this one, right DB. Uh, no, right. no, uh, it the cursor is already there. Okay, right DB equal to yeah. You can see new student DB one data context. Press tab. Yeah, in the next line, use student. std equal to new student you are creating the object of your student class uh, that you have seen in this one student db data context okay in the next line let's say std dot name std dot no where is the dot Yeah, dot. You can see name here, right? Equal to. Now uh, the text that uh, you have given name to your text box. Name. Yes. Dot text. okay so what this has uh, done uh, this has given your database the value that you have inputted in that uh, text box okay similarly uh, do this for gender 
std.gender equal to dot text box dot text no 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 are wait yaar go back okay sir why you are so confused uh, you have written name here see in when we yeah. want to click insert button what we wanted we want that uh, all the values that we have inputted in our text box okay that should go to our database okay. simple okay. that's why we are doing this simple. press enter now write for the gender std dot gender now same for the age wait uh, your age will be getting as an int okay but here it is getting as a string so you have to use int dot parse you have to take them under the parenthesis okay now for std dot class no your class to will come as a okay okay no that's good okay now after this press enter write db dot student students yes dot insert on submit yes and std yeah you can use that so what this will do you have created all these std okay uh, in your std object you have given the values now click on clicking submit it means on clicking the button it will get inserted in your students okay in your database press enter write db dot submit changes now it will save your changes that you have done to your database okay uh, also let's show a message while doing this click enter yeah message box dot show parenthesis uh your double inverted commas because you are going to write a statement now you can just write that uh, data has been inserted successfully with that okay wait uh now after the inverted commas give comma message box buttons yes dot okay comma then message box icon
dot information then you can use semicolon after the parenthesis so what is happening here your message box button dot okay it is giving a button while you are creating an alert okay message box icon of information uh, can you hover on message box button to see the error okay uh, yeah let's leave it for now uh now on your line 31 click on line 31 enter let's create a, a method uh, private void let's give it a name clear text boxes in pascal case in pascal case c should also be capital in pascal case see if you are going to forget all the things that i have taught you then this is not going to work like this okay open the parenthesis then curly braces not inside outside press enter okay uh you can write for each parenthesis control c should be capital space ctr in this okay after this dot controls okay so it is now going to iterate on all the controls okay that uh, your this file has okay press enter yeah. under the curly braces press enter again okay uh, right let's give a if condition if parenthesis CTR is text box. Okay, then open the curly braces. Write text box space TXT equal to CTR as text box. In the next line, txt dot clear. Click on line forty one. Enter. Then uh, your name text box. Okay, uh, the name you have given to your name text box. dot focus yes okay so now what it is doing is uh, it is checking for all the controls and uh, it, this one is to clear all of your data right now in the text box okay uh, go down no down at the last yeah in line 55 
let's uh, call this function uh, call this method clear text boxes yes okay then go to your function uh, sorry form click on clear button two times okay now here we also call that function again clear text boxes okay uh, in the form let's go to grid view Yellow. Uh, go above more more go up okay uh, let's create a function let's create another method Just click on line 31 and press the space. Oh, sorry, enter. Enter. Uh, private void. Let's name it bind grid view. Yeah, parenthesis, curly braces. Okay, uh, write db equal to new. Yes. Uh, in the next line, uh, what is your grid view? Grid view name. Yes, dot data source equal to db dot student yes okay so this function is binding your grid view okay it is giving the data to your grid view uh, go okay. to your form uh, click on any empty space double times no no yeah here yeah. Now here, uh, call that function, bind grid view. Also uh, go up after line 61. Also call this function, bind grid view. So that when you click insert button, okay uh, it will insert the data in your database then clear all the text boxes and it will also show what is inserted okay. now go to your form uh, go to your grid view properties properties uh, there will be a property auto size column mode Here, okay. Uh, select fill. Sorry. Fill. Okay. So this one will fill to your all the form space. Okay. So that your grid view will not uh, be looking like a weird. Okay. Okay. So, okay, run the program. Okay, uh, go again to your form.cs, form1.cs.
no form one dot cs yes uh this one message box button remove this remove this one also okay uh, now run the program yes uh, wait uh, build again no no right no okay double click on this one where the error has been happening Okay. Yeah, hover on that. Okay, don't worry about this. Okay, uh, let's uh, come to your R code. Okay, so here you have completed your insert button. Okay. Okay. For the next one, okay. Uh, go to your form and click uh, grid view one time and in the properties uh, you can see one event uh, the electricity icon above yes click on events okay then select mouse click Okay. See, uh, yeah, this one. Double click on this. No, mouse click. Is it double click or just mouse? Yeah, you have chosen the double click one. I am not talking about this. I am telling you that choose cell, cell mouse click. No, I mean just... mm -hmm. Okay, in the cell mouse click, uh, there should be only mouse click one option there. Uh, search it in the list go again uh, don't see mouse click and there's still mouse click okay uh, go to the code again. Uh, wait, uh, remove this cell mouse double click. Remove this one. Go to drop down. Okay. Yeah. Uh, now you also have created cell content click.
go back to the code okay in the mouse click one write uh, your txt name dot text equal to txt name dot text equal to then the name of your grid view dot selected rows in the square bracket zero dot cells in the square bracket one dot value dot two string yeah so what it is doing is okay so let's go by line okay a uh, view student detail this is your grid view it is going in your grid view then it is going in your selected row where but you have selected there okay then for the okay. cell uh, your first selected row will be row number zero okay because the indexing is like zero one two three okay so this will be your okay. this will become your first one okay so selected row is zero cells one it means name you have different uh, column name id name then age then gender right right uh, so id will be zero yeah. name will be one that's why we have selected cell as one then its value two string okay okay, okay. similarly uh, just to copy this line and paste it three times more okay in line 88 give txt name as txt gender okay and uh, after that selected rows will be zero and the cell value will be two similarly for the next one yeah uh, txt age cell will be three then your txt class and cell will be four okay so whenever you are going to enter any value okay uh, sorry uh, from the grid view when you are going to select any value that data will come to your text box okay 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 now go to your form okay wait uh, in your ms sql uh, add uh, two values in your table yeah add two values in your table like you can use insert into student like that no uh, you are not going to give id because it is auto generated now
also a string mail should also be in this uh, string so inverted comma yeah Uh, user select okay go back to visual studio okay uh, see uh, for today the time is over and we have okay. created insert and clear okay tomorrow we can okay. complete update and delete then we can run this program and uh, you will see how this is working also because uh, your okay. database is connected we can also do the next topic of stored procedure right there yes uh, tomorrow okay save this program okay okay and also save your ms sql one like it is auto save okay don't worry about that Just say it is risky. That's your so This is for the emergency thing. Like uh, maybe your MS SQL get corrupted. Okay. Then you have a file that you can directly work on. Uh, can you again show the error? Which one is coming? Like form one. Okay. Okay. So that's all for today. And we will continue this uh, tomorrow. Okay.